at the end of the day, everything boils down to women. I think it'd be just stupid to go yeah. against what women like. You cannot force feed things to them. You just have mm -hmm. to allow them to be either a tomboy or a feminine. Wait, you know? wait, because you can mix both. Because you can mix both. Fashion Week, Men's Spring Summer 2020. I'm like, so many shows. We have Louis Vuitton, Acne, Dior, Off-White, Rick Owens, Kenzo. It's always fun. I always get to catch up with some of my closest friends here at Fashion Week. Yo, I like how do Every time I come, it's an even better vibe because street culture has evolved so much. Um, so we are headed to a Louis Vuitton show. This is the third collection by Virgil Abloh. He is the creative director for Louis Vuitton Men's right now. He is really opening up this whole world to what streetwear really is and the luxury of it as well. Hey. 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 you know a lot of these designers were my friends I was working retail at Louis Vuitton and when I started working for the brand they started teaching me the history and then where it's made and how it's made I feel like we kind of disregard a lot of the people behind the scenes and we only focus on the finishing product and the price you know it's a lot of work that goes into it but as a new designer showing in Paris for the first time is major it can really change the course of your brand. Today's the last day of casting. We're doing fittings tomorrow. How's it look? A lot of uh, hours of no sleep and a lot of coffee. Oh man, this is my first one. And I have no like reference point of this this situation you know you know we met back in the day to, um, what was that like 2010 Way maybe oh nine oh ten oh nine yeah. 2010 los angeles young filipinos out here i mean how do you feel to be a filipino american representing all the way out here in paris i mean it's we're not even supposed to be here. I'm just, I'm just honored to be a part of like the calendar and the yeah. rotation and the fact that like my work can be represented here. And has it sunken in that you're showing in Paris? I was in the car. I was thinking about it. Yeah. Right? No, <laughs> hasn't. Oh, yeah, this. My parents unfortunately can't be here, and the collection is about our journey from Philippines to America. Yeah, yeah. The concept of the show is um, in this beautiful space in Lisi Carno. It's with clothes racks all lined up, and it's the task that my mother used to give me when we were younger to hang the clothes, and then, you know, followed by this like tarp to match the tarp we used to put every time it would rain because, you know, Manila was monsoon weather, so it rained nonstop. And we, I used to have to put this tarp with my father, so I pay homage to. You know, my sister and I and my brother. You know, we grew up together. We did this journey together from folding our t-shirts in the living room. Like, I mean, like order per order, we were doing it. And now to where the company is at. So what does rude mean? Where did it come from? My parents named all of us RHs. This is Ruigi, then your sister Roxy, Roxy. and then oh. Raiden. My dad's Roderick. Oh. Everyone's ours. Oh, yeah. And I, I laugh at him in family parties because I'm like, I'm the only one I was smart enough to turn this into <laughs> business. Like, you guys could have at least opened up like a liquor store, you know? I wanted something that's like a word that was very easy for people. 
it flows correctly. How do you draw inspiration? Now, if we're talking about like, like referencing and all that, I, I can only reference what I know, and I, I've been a collector since I was what? Yo, you've 13, been a collector 14. forever, collecting sunglasses, I like have it's it all. an MCM yeah. backpack. Is it hoarding? Or hoarding? I mean, no, it's not hoarding. It's, it's, not. it's, it's a organized sickness. hoarding. <laughs> <laughs> you brought these hoes out? Oh, man, son. It was a thing for yeah. Los Angeles. Um, when you thought of like yeah. fashion kids, he was one Free. to have everything that it you ever like, wanted. Oh yeah, look, man, um, yes, definitely Boom. gonna need these, but I'm looking at these brown ones right here though. Oh, wow. When I come into a collection, I always just kind of skim mm -hmm. the things that mm -hmm. I really want to try on. With the pill? Yeah, so we do With like, the pill as the accent? Pill oh, pill. double pill? Just try it on. Just, so it's like two Tylenols? Just, just try it on. Maybe it's based on, again, the streetwear background, but I think I was uh, like, you know, you get this high when you buy like your, or you find that piece that you've been you looking for. you find that piece? Mm -hmm. Get a high. There's more arriving too. So everything is like, wow. And I'm, I just requested for another coat to be made. Sick. And we show Saturday, so think about that. Yeah. Just think about that. And today it's, it's is Thursday, you know? I create the vision and the feeling, and I design the clothes, but for everything to be executed, it takes a full team. It takes a village. Yeah, it takes a village. <laughs> Production team, casting director, mm -hmm. a design team, pattern making team, sample making team. I was gonna say sourcing samples. Sourcing. Everything is moving speed light yeah. right now. Uh, my palms have been sweatier than I've <laughs> ever no, I been. I don't even know how I'm producing this much like liquid yeah. you know? <laughs> in my in just like one area of my hands. <laughs> like, look at that. Um, too long. <laughs> And I think I kind of threw a Hail Mary. If this connects, we win this game. Yeah. If we don't, then... My goal for this collection was to tell a story of mm -hmm. who I am and the journey I've taken to mm -hmm. get to here. Look at what you want your first collection in Paris to look like, mm -hmm. and I think this is the best representation of the work I've put in. No, it, it's amazing to see you know you grow from the valley to you know all the way out here in Paris. Like, I can't wait till we're all looking back at this like, wow, we were you know figuring it out. Figuring it out, yeah. You're kind of catching a lot of us in this state where we've never been, and this is the most we've done in our life. If you're a designer, if you're a model, or upcoming, or that's something that you dream of, I want young girls and guys to just, you know, relate.